Hey, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some Serious Sam. Wait, I mean, Brotato. We're going to play as Serious Sam. Uh, gain energy shield on pickup of consumable to absorb at most 50% of the damage. So we can basically get another health bar. Enemies are faster. The map is bigger. More enemies. More speed. More explosion. More range. Less attack speed. Aww. 5% uh, damage when you pick up an item box. We're going to want as much luck as possible. 30% damage when you pick up a legendary box. Eh. 10% uh, XP. 10 XP when you pick up a consumable while at max health. Less materials. More faster enemies. More enemies. 5% chance to gain 1% attack speed when picking up a material. 7% damage with explosive weapons three melee three that's the wrong character <laughs> uh i think i need to uninstall this mod again give me a second okay uh i was gonna take the shredder anyway but i figured i wanted to see what actual weapons that they had this i can always just click here because i know i'm not supposed to start with anything so that's why I leave that mod installed and I don't leave the other mod installed. Um, where's my material? 50% less does not mean no material ever. Seems a little rude. Um, we're going to have to keep up on attack speed gonna be really important to keep up on attack speed that is absolutely for satan <laughs> slap um we're gonna get so overwhelmed with enemies i kind of want more enemies we'll we'll take it i guess uh the speed of enemies i think is gonna overwhelm me so much more I think that is going to be way more oppressive. Uh, speaking of the fact that their speed is going to be constantly increasing, maybe I should have increased my speed. Dang it. Oh, I have 25 speed. I don't like what's happening. I don't like what's happening to my stats. Right, come on. Come on. You freaking so and so. I didn't get what I wanted. I didn't find a weapon. I didn't find a weapon. Uh, if you have any questions about Brotato, I am going to type up the response to this, but I had a question about Brotato in the last video. Left the comment. Thank you very much for the comment. I should have pulled it up ahead of time because that was entirely my plan was to answer it in video and then answer it outside of video. But uh, Lilith, who's new to the game, asked, why do you lock then re-roll new to the game? Uh, for the first shop, you get two items, or sorry, you get two weapons. So I'm, you can't get more than two weapons in the first shop, first two shops, then it's guaranteed one weapon. Um, or you're guaranteed at least two weapons, and then you're guaranteed at least one weapon for the shop four. So shop two and three, you're guaranteed two weapons in the shop. So usually I'll lock an item, and I'm just specifically looking for weapons. And if there's something I want, I lock it, and I'll buy it later. But thank you very much for the comment. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. J.E. for the comment. The lovely Rebecca. Aaron. The Tholstein, Tyler, appreciate it. Uh, and then we had J. Jonah Jameson leaving a comment about no skin off my scrope. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the comments. Leave comments, it's good for the YouTube algorithm. Help fight mega corporations by helping the little guy. Me, I'm the little guy. I'm the one who needs help. <laughs> okay. I think I gotta go attack speed. Shit. Sh I, I really, 
really should have been paying attention to how much money I have. I needed Shredder. I didn't need more enemies. I needed Shredder. Because, um... We're getting more enemies regardless. And I'm gonna get overwhelmed. Oh, that's a amazing. I didn't take damage. And then I took damage. I actually do really like having a shield. I think that's really cool. It's something I'd like to see, like, in the actual, like, base game. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay. For the range damage. I know it's kind of counterintuitive. I am going to take the bicycle. It's just so much speed. Um, I don't think these piercing a fourth time is going to make a significant difference. I really don't think that's going to positively impact me. It won't be the worst thing in the world. I'm sorry, my shield carries over? What? Hold up. Wait a moment. Uh, something ain't right. I mean, it's like awesome. Don't get me wrong. I ain't complaining. But my shield carries over? Heck yeah, dude. That means I have like more potential HP. And more potential HP means I'm less close to dead. Uh, don't really like any of these. Just take the damage. Ooh, I do like... I like the HP. I like the regen. I'm gonna go with the attack speed. Because these are not particularly fast in the first place. Three enemies to pick up a console at maximum health. Is that just permanent? I think it's just permanent. There's 60. Alright. Prepare for a, a grossly uncomfortable amount of enemies. Because I'm gonna keep taking shield. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. Honestly, their speed <clears throat> is going to be one of the things I'm most concerned about. And I really need my speed to kick it off and start balling out of control. Now, should I have picked that up? No. No, I shouldn't have. Am I going to continue? Yes. I am a maniac. I was born and raised in the hills of Maine. Where maniacs dwell in hills near Hillshire Farms. I should have taken that luck up. Um, sure. Let's have this way be even more oppressive because it's already fairly oppressive. Oh my god, that's so many of them! Help! Help, I'm being oppressed! I want to go with laser gun, but I think laser gun is stupid. I love laser gun, but with that many enemies, I, I, I think shredder is probably the right call. But yeah, I. I <laughs> oh boy! It can get a little oppressed. I probably should not have been picking up as many materials as I had. Uh, honestly, I think I would have been fine if I didn't pick up uh, a billion extra enemies. Mm, I think slowing down enemies will be good. So, like, right here, it's guaranteed to be two weapons, so the fact that I've locked two items... And I want both of these items, that's why I'm locking them. Means these will only be weapons. So while I am 
you know, arguably paying for less of a reroll. I already want these, so that's why I'm leaving them locked and rerolling. So I hope that answers your question. I will also try to type that out. So, thank you for the comment. I appreciate it. Always happy to answer comments and read the comments. I read all the comments. I just sometimes don't respond to them as quickly as I'd like to. Oh, you know what? I don't have a choice on picking up those. I just realized that, which is kind of embarrassing that it took me that long to realize that. Hate it. That was gross. Um, I really need that to... I mean, it's not a high... I, I need it. I need to get more attack speed so I can fend off the billions of enemies. So what I was saying is, um, it doesn't matter if I go pick them up, because unless I end the wave at a fairly significant deficit of damage, um, we're just gonna get more enemies, because all the food's gonna get sucked towards me. I think food healing me for more is a good idea. I think more armor is a good idea. Uh, so now that we're on wave four shop, so the fourth shop. Uh, now we're, you see, there's one weapon and one item. We're not, we're only guaranteed one. So that's usually when I start to buy out the items I want. Uh, let's see. Ricochet, huge. More range wouldn't be terrible. Um, more range would be fairly good for us. Um. Because then it can, you know, it, it'll pierce more enemies. But I don't think that's really going to be that big of a problem because we're going to have a massive wave of enemies, like, scouring every inch of humanity. The range damage. Attack speed. I really need to keep up on attack speed. Um, I do want lots of luck. There will be lots of enemies. There will be plenty of enemies, so... Lots of dying. But I need luck first. I need lots of luck. Also for crates. More trees would be good, too. Um... If I could get a map upgrade, that'd be cool too. I, I think I'm going to get to the point where I'm just so oppressed by enemies. Um, I just died. Oh, oh, don't fart on me. I like the armor system. I think that's pretty cool. The shield system. Um, sure, there's going to be so many enemies. I like that. This is a nice item. We're going to go with more damage. I don't know if that's a smart idea. We're going to go with Lure. The Planet Omicron Percy I-8. By the way, new Futurama season. Pretty good. I've enjoyed it so far. I've watched... Uh, I'm one episode behind right now. Um, I've been enjoying it. I think it's... I think it's good. Um, they, they've delved in some topics I'm not happy with them delving into, but I feel that they've done them... About as much justice as I could see anyone giving them. So I'm not too upset about that. Because uh, they, they could have just completely flubbed it and made it an like, absolute embarrassment of themselves. And dated the entire show like so tremendously. Which is what I'm always worried about. Controversial topics? Not good. Not good for your fun, cool show. I'm going to take less enemies. Um, because uh, we're at 77% enemies, so that effectively did nothing. We'll do it anyway. Because, um, like, one of them, you know, you kind of expect it. Uh, but they, they made a cut. The first episode was, like, a reference to the fact that they've been passed around from network to network, which... That's more the history of the show, so I, I feel like that'll stand the test of time far better. And then they made a, um, 
illness that has been going around the planet for the past several years. And that one felt much weaker, but I feel they gave it the respect it deserved. They made fun of everyone involved. Um, and then ended it on a funny note. I won't, uh, I won't spoil the note that they left it on, but I think they gave it the, re the situation, the respect it deserves. And I think it would stand the test of time far better than what they could have done. So with such a touchy topic, I think they did a really good job on it. I'm proud of them for that. Um, but other than that, they've been pretty decent episodes. So, I've been, I've been enjoying it. Um, we went through and watched, uh, Disenchantment. Disenchantment was pretty good, too. It's by the makers of Futurama, so. I don't think it's as, the characters are not as memorable as Futurama, but that also could be that I've been watching Futurama since 2000. So, that's got a lot more staying power. Um, and some of them, you know, like, some of the characters have the same voice actors. And it's a little difficult because you're like, you know. You hear Bender's voice and you're like, that's just Bender. Uh, and I don't feel, when you have, like, th that unique of characters, I don't feel they lend themselves... The, that unique of voices, I'm not saying this is an insult to anyone who worked on it or anything like that. Um, you're just thinking about the other character, though. You know, it's, it's difficult to kind of picture other characters when you hear Bender's voice. And then especially when their personalities have similar quirks, it feels, you know, a little bit more rip off -y, but I don't I don't really mean that in a super negative way. It's a good show. I enjoy it. I was excited to watch it. Um, it's over now. I'm glad they ended it. Uh, not because I really wanted it to end, but they had a story to tell. They told their story, and then they let the show die. Um, like, as much as I'm happy for more Futurama, I kind of want Futurama to die so that it doesn't become Family Guy. Now, I feel that the writers just have more respect. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. It was another spam call. Well, he cussed me out again as well. I was like, well, listen to our deal. And I'm like, no, I can't accept it. Not even like a, I choose not to. Um, enemies explode while taking burning damage. But I'll deal burning. Um, enemies explode while taking burning damage and deal. Does so it mean I have to hit them with explosion and burning? I don't know. Um, sure, why the heck not? More trees! I will take that. Knockback deals more damage. I don't know. Sure. Why not? It's fine. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, uh, sometimes it's better for a show to end. It's like, uh, harem animes are some of my least favorite animes because they never end. They never go anywhere. And it gets really stale because they, it's like, pick one of the girls. I hate it. It's so boring. I don't get, pick all of them. I don't care, but they don't they're, because they're, they just go on and on and on. There's no character development. There, there's no plot growth. Like the characters just are. And that's not a show that has harem elements. It's a show that primarily focuses on that. So obviously there's you know, a wide variety of different types of shows. But yeah, no, it, it... Get to the point. Is, you know, what I'm trying to say. It gets old when you just flub around and do 
nothing for eternity. And I think that's this, it's a big dis disservice to this show, uh, medium. It's kind of like with uh, games, I was talking to someone about this just the other day. Um, uh, Cause it's like the length of a game does not make a game better or worse. At its core, at its core, obviously if I spend $70 and I get a one hour game, I'm pissed. Like, you know, I want a full experience, not one hour of gameplay. And maybe you, maybe, you know, some of you disagree with this. Um, cause like, with the time I've spent playing this game and the time I've spent playing, uh, like Resident Evil 4, I think that they're equal. Resident Evil 4 set out to tell its story, have its gameplay, and it succeeded. I feel it succeeded. It was a fun game. I really enjoyed it. I felt my money went to good use. Um, so I enjoyed it. That's all I'm asking for out of it. Uh, if, if a game is long, like this game, I'm playing it because I want to play it. Um, you know, I'm having a blast playing it. I think it, it has a lot of variety. It's mostly mods. Like, well, I'll be you know, completely honest. It's mostly mods because the modding community is absolutely goaded with the sauce in this game. Um, I, I would not be playing this game still if it wasn't for the mods. I still would have gotten like 50 hours out of the game, but now I've gotten like 100 hours out of the game. Um, but I feel like the... Sometimes you focus too much on the length of time you spend playing a game. Which I feel is a very dangerous concept. Because then games become gross open world. Nothing ever happens in the game. Uh, or they'll, they'll do something to waste your time. Like, sometimes a loading screen is all you need don't need a massive, uh, you don't need to walk to every location, like, sometimes it's fine just to, your care, you know, a cutscene happens, your character goes to location. Easy, easy. You don't need to have the character walk there every time, especially when nothing happens during walking there. Because what value did that bring to the core experience of the game? Nothing. It didn't add any value to the game. Um, now, do I have a problem if they want me to walk? No, I don't. I really don't. Just make it make sense. If, if the core concept is like, you know, there's something to do, there's engaging content in it, there's alternate paths, then yeah, let's go. Uh, let me walk back and forth or... Um, and that's why one of my favorite things is like Metroidvania's shortcuts. You have to keep going back and forth through the same area, but there's a bunch of shortcuts so it constantly is feeling new or having environmental things change once you hit a certain checkpoint or something like that. Um, rather than, like honestly, I feel like with a lot of <coughs> Bethesda games and stuff, I wasn't, Sorry, I had to clear my throat, and I don't have any, um, I don't have anything to drink sitting beside me. But, I feel like Bethesda games suffer this, like, some of the most, is they tell you to go places for the sake of going places, not because there's engaging content for you to go see, they just want you to go see it. Hmm. Gen, I think. Hey, that could be really, really good. <sighs> nope. Nope. Um, enemies have a chance to explode. Nah. <gasps> Baby with the beard. Baby with the beard is goaded with the sauce! We're fighting! Who's the elite? 
Are we fighting an elite? I guess not. Maybe the elite's next wave. Um, yeah, but I feel like Bethesda games, and it's not just me like pooing on Bethesda. It's a lot of American-styled RPGs. It, they're big for the sake of being big, but don't have enough content to warrant the game being that large. Because their selling point is game large. And I don't like that as a selling point, because, you know, can I have more meaningful content within it instead? Instead of just game big? Uh, but I feel like a lot of them, their selling point is game big, and I'm like, okay, but what is there in the game? Game big. Take one of those. Mm, I'm gonna the life steal, I think. More HP. I don't think that's worth it. That's probably definitely not worth it. 340! <laughs> Whoa, boy! A lot more enemies. Now we're at the elite. We dodged that with 2% dodge. That's why it's always better to have at least one dodge. I usually don't stick to that, you know, philosophy, but... It is always better to have more. There we go. That was like, what, 30? Um, stat up. A lot of stat up. We are very strong. Um, Sifties would be really nice to get. I think Sifties would be really good. I wonder if we're actually properly seeing 300% enemies. More luck would be good, too. We're killing it, though. Enemies don't stand a chance. They just spawn and die. It's beautiful. What? Deal one damage to all enemies on hit an enemy. Is that Quagmire's face? That looks like Quagmire's face. It's got like the big chin. Why'd you draw Quagmire? <laughs> sure, that'll be insane. No. no, I don't think that's what I want. Get that attack speed up. Oh, we actually have ridiculous attack speed. I thought, I was looking at this 16 and I was like, ooh, man, we really need some attack speed. Not really. We're fine. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Nah. Very powerful character. Very, very powerful character. When he gets off the ground, oh, he gets off the ground. He just rockets into insanity. How many enemies do we have? Almost 500. And 412, so close to 400. 500, but you know what I'm saying. Let's fix that. More enemies. More. More. I need more. They don't even exist. They don't even exist in my uh, world. Uh, hold on. Um, if I deal one damage via dealing one damage, does that deal one damage because I dealt one damage to an enemy via one damage, meaning they're going to deal one damage because I've dealt one damage to an enemy, which means that they'll take one damage, dealing one damage to an enemy, and because they've taken one damage, they take one more damage? Is that how that works? Did I talk around in circles? Yes. Thank you for noticing. Eh. It's not that exciting. See how we're gaining a lot more stats. I want to hit 500% enemies. 
This is beautiful. Oh my god. Just a couple crates. I won't lie, I kind of don't like how, like, flashy this is. We have 500% enemies. Yeah, we're closing it on 600%. I think this runs, you know, okay power. It's not as good as slap. Not as powerful as the slap. Oh my god. The grace. That's, that's beautiful. Look at all these crates. Try more enemies. Spawn quicker, please. I'm trying to kill you. You're missing your chance to die. or knockback is fine. Um, honestly, speed being capped is fine. Wait, did these... Oh, these have zero. Whatever. Whatever. If that's the thing that makes a difference. We're in a lot more trouble. We're in so much more trouble. I mean, also, he's dead. I want to just stand here, but then I'm not picking up materials. I was going to stand here and take a drink, but I am sadly drunk. But... Yeah, nothing, nothing lives. Nothing survives. I love this run. This run's busted. I don't think it's going to be possible, but I would love to see this run get to, like, a thousand extra enemies. Does the Explorer have more enemies? No. Uh, no. Sure. We're back down to 2% dodge. Uh, I'm going to go with more range because it's silly. Nope. Still don't want you. All purple shredders. Cheaper items. More speed for literally no reason. Um... I still don't want you. Now we're at negative dodge. No, 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 no. Put that back down. Lock the item. Come back for it later. I think we we're more apt to find a blue, so I probably should have bought the blue. But I mean, we're really late in the run, so I, I don't care. In fact, we're so late, I'm just going to stand here in the corner. I want to pick up materials. I want there to be more enemies. I guess actually picking them up now doesn't... Well, technically it should mean more enemies are going to spawn. Because I've increased the amount of enemies that should exist. But it shouldn't make a large difference. Because we already have um, 700... Uh, sorry... 802% enemy. And sad we didn't get that to over a thousand. Almost 1,000% more enemies. God bless this run. There was like no enemies that wave. Did I like full circle and now there's no enemies? So that's kind of sad. If that's the case. Hmm. Shredder. Purple Shredder. I'd take both of these, but whatever. It'd be interesting to see this on endless mode, but I think I'd literally just die if you 
I mean, I wouldn't die immediately, but death would not be far. Huge. Very fun character. Almost 850% enemies. That was really fun. I like this character. A lot of text that gets very confusing, but very fun character. What if we doubled it? What if we doubled down? And had two of them. <laughs> I think we'd get overrun by enemies, honestly. Um, we'd just die. But if we got it popping, good deal. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs>